I'm Paula Gubrud, and I'm the Senior Associate Dean for Academic Affairs and Statewide Education at Oregon Health Science University School of Nursing in Portland, Oregon. Well, I, I'm, always, I'm usually an early adapter to new innovations, so um, I, I was at the right place at the right time. So um, I started a dissertation and met a physician that was uh, had been using simulation for years and we were able to work with our state's government to get funding for our, our entire state and so just being in the right place at the right time. That's a good question. We've, um, we've had a lot of opportunity to do some studies. Uh, we've had some funding and what we've learned is through simulation we've made clinical education more deliberate. And uh, we've also been able to provide opportunity for students that aren't available through traditional cl clinical education. For instance, uh, we have a very difficult time finding sites for acute pediatrics. Um, not all of our students get an obstet obstetrical experience, and so simulation allows us to provide those opportunities in, um, in the simulation theater. Uh, we also, um, simulation has given us the opportunity to focus on low volume, high stakes clinical situations, which makes the students better prepared. They tell us they're more confident. Uh, the, they're better prepared to function on the unit or the ward when we take them in, um, in, on regular clinical rotations. The other opportunity that simulation has provided is in our graduate programs. We have several students that are uh, pursuing dissertations that are studying the effects of simulation on learning. So that's interesting. Uh, I would say it, ha that it has changed. Um, we're certainly more sophisticated simulators than we were, or simulation faculty, than we were when we first started. So our scenarios are very succinct, very clear, very well developed. Uh, we've developed the full cycle of learning activity through reflection, active experimentation, and then um, re reflection. So yes, I would, the, we're definitely more sophisticated. It's becoming more and more critical. Uh, it's becoming not an option, but an expectation, both in the education arena as well as in the healthcare setting. So I work for an academic health center that's associated with four major hospitals. And simulation is now a part of nursing orientation. It's an expectation as, as far as demonstrating safety and quality behaviors. I see us using it more for assessment. Right now we've been using it primarily to facilitate learning and I, I see a transition from, um, we'll continue to use it for learning, but we'll also be using it to assess for competency, uh, to create uh, orientation programs, and to hold people accountable for um, behaviors related to safe practice. Uh, I've been focusing on clinical judgment, so I'm using simulation to facilitate the development of clinical reasoning and clinical judgment. It's a, a, it's a resource heavy tool. So you have to have prepared faculty. Uh, you have to have infrastructure to support it. Uh, our we have a brand new simulation center where I'm working with eight theaters. And we're having to spend an enormous amount of energy developing an operational plan as well as a business plan so that the, the center is sustainable. Ah, uh, so um, three words. So um, think, so consider how you want to use simulation, develop plans, and then buy. Unfortunately, what happens, people do it the other way around. They buy, and then they think about it, and then they plan. Well, I haven't been exposed to what's happening in the health center, to the, in, the, in the hospitals and health systems, but from an educational point of view, I, um, I think they're a, a beyond many other countries. They're uh, on par, I would say, with the U.S. Um, the U.S. is a big country, so we have a lot of differences in where we are. 
Uh, what I'm particularly impressed with is the spirit of inquiry that is guiding the implementation of s simulation here. So there's, um, there's a clear understanding that we need inquiry and research to help us define best practices in simulation. I, I, that's very evident in Australia.